What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so i'm back just to do a quick little video um since it's really nothing that's you know no new shows coming on i just wanted to give y'all a quick little music video so earlier this week i should say probably friday saturday um a new album came out not necessarily an album a ep with june's diary now if y'all don't know who june's diary is i'll say like a couple of years ago or so Kelly Rollins had this um, TV show with BET, and they gave her their her own little, like, it was like a little reality show, and she was searching for the next girl group, and um, it was almost like American Idol type, but not necessarily American Idol type, I would say like making a band. That's how it was, because they were putting unknown people together, and, you know, seeing how they fit into a group trying to get that girl group feel back and for the moment it made sense because kelly Rowland, being that she come from a, um a girl group it makes sense that she would be in one or part of one or you know trying to find another big girl group like that and it's something that's needed because we got a couple of boy group uh, band and all that stuff that's popular and hidden in i guess but we need to get back to the black boy uh, boy groups and boy bands, I should say, and the black girl girl bands and stuff like that. But um, one of the main things and the main issues with this is that if you saw the process of, of the show, I think it was called Chasing Destiny. Yes, I watched the whole thing and I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find um the stuff. Where is it? I was so mad that they decided to, you know, um, I don't know if it was Kelly who decided not to come back, but I do know some internal issues that was going on between Kelly and Frank, which is why people get confused about how come they're not out um, as much as they should and they're not where they should have been and Kelly did this and Kelly did that. Kelly's not over them no more. It's Frank. And from what someone told me, Frank and Kelly got into it in some issues or whatever and it was more so of him not letting her do what she's supposed to do and you know trying to take over anyway and so I guess she just it was a little disrespect on his part to her to her and so she just had to let that shit go and that's very much unfortunate but um I have been seeing you know, Frank, the main one out here promoting them. I've never seen Kelly say anything about them. Probably mention happy birthday late to them or whatever. But other than that, no. And it's so sad that the show didn't come back for a second season because it was actually a good show. And I feel as though if it would have came back for a second season, I think they would have had much more success than they have had so far. They would have been so much further. Um, I just want them to... You know, we, we, we shade them a little bit because every time we used to see June's Diary, they're singing cover songs of other people's stuff and they probably sprinkle in a song or two here and there, but they're singing cover songs and I was like, I don't want to cover band. And the fact, the sad thing about it was they have beautiful voices. Like these girls can really fucking sing. Okay. And I think one of the biggest things that they got was a part of so far in their career was being a part of the escape tour. And being one of the many opening acts that there were uh, for Escape. And I think that was good on their part. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I didn't see them. I didn't come there early enough. I wasn't trying to. I'm not going to lie about that. But um, because I just didn't want to hear cover songs and all this other stuff. I want to see them when they have their own material to sing. And now it seems as though they're putting out more material for their own selves. And now they have an official EP out. And if they were to come to Chicago, I would I would hook up and go to a show and see how they are really because I've heard nothing but good things about them when they perform live. Like I said, I was smitten and taken by the whole um episode, the whole series that came on Chasing Destiny and putting them together and seeing them and their struggles and who they really are and I really had high hopes for them and I really thought they would have had an album out by now. Um, and they would have been doing something. Cause I mean, you got somebody like a Kelly Rowland behind the, behind the, 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 the wheels, you know what I'm saying? And 
it just didn't happen the way that they needed to. But I feel like this is a stepping stone because now they finally putting all their energy. They didn't slack off. They Frank was trying to do what he trying to do. Um, they finally got this EP out. It's an official EP, so therefore I feel as though this is a stepping stone. It may not seem like much to most folks, but it's a it's a it's a step, okay, to probably get them to some more exposure. I'm pretty they was on Epic Records. I heard that they got dropped from Epic Records, but you know they need a team. They need a better team. They need somebody who actually really cares, somebody who is gonna go full force. Frank can't do it all. Okay, the girls can't do it all. They need a real ass team and better management and all that to help get them to the place that they need to go because voices like that is something that's needed. It's something that's needed. And I will say I'm saying all this because had I not seen it on Twitter, just one tweet on Twitter that popped up on my timeline Friday, I wouldn't have known that the um E P came out that E P was in the works. I wouldn't have known that. And so I went on ahead and listened to it and once again, it's all good music. The EP is not bad. It's like six songs, and they're all good. Good Time, Take Me, Have You Ever, His Phone, All of Us, Hurt People. Those ladies' voices together, their harmonies and everything, it all meshes well. Okay, the arrangements and everything all meshes well. I don't have anything negative to say about the album. I just wish them the best, and I want them to succeed i really do like i said we should we shade them we shade them ain't nobody gonna lie about that because baby listen look when we heard that their names was gonna be june diary we was like june's diary what type of fucking name is that but bitch it grew on us okay you know so it is what it is i wish them girls the best of luck i want y'all to go out there if you're not gonna buy it at least stream it give them a stream you know what i'm saying give them a play give them a listen it's only six songs okay I don't vouch for people that are bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I don't vouch for people that are non-talented or anything like that, so get them a chance, you know what I'm saying? Um, another little update, since I'm doing this uh, music video, Tiana Taylor. First of all, let me just do Drake right quick. Drake came out with Scorpion CD, okay? And that bitch dropped, and he just breaking all these type of records. I ain't even got to give you a full review because it's just a lot of songs on there. And I'm not going to go song by song by song. In the album, it's a, a side A and a side B. And the side A was more so strictly like hip-hop. It's the old Drake, if you ask me, um, that we came to love. You know, he's not on there doing that fake ass Jamaican accent and all that stuff, you know, he just rapping and doing what he gotta do. And Side B, he's almost like that R and B type feel. I was like, oh come on, Mr. Sensitivity. You know what I'm saying? That's what he get. I love that song Jaded. I love Peak, okay. Um the one song <laughs> March 14th, that's the last song of the album. It's 25 um songs on the whole thing if you want to put together. March 14th, that was just his little song to his son about the fact of how he found out, how it came about, all that stuff, you know, um, emotionless. I think it was emotionless where he was saying about how um, he wasn't hiding his son. He was from the world. He was hiding the world from his son or some shit like that. And I know people trying to make jokes about that and saying it's bullshit, but I get, totally got what he was saying. Did I ever think that Drake was a deadbeat dad or something like that? No, he just don't seem like that. But you just can never, you can never judge a book by their covers. But, because I already knew, you know, the reports came out. And if you, he denied, denied, denied that other bitch baby. And she ain't never come back out and say, bitch, you are the daddy. But that girl, the baby mama now, she came out and they went on ahead and got the um, DNA test done. And that was put out there in the blogs and we didn't hear shit else. So I put two and two together, that bitch. That's his baby, okay? So, you know, sometimes celebrities don't want people up in their business. And they try to shield. They see how, you know, ruthless the internet can be and stand culture and all this stuff. And sometimes you would think that kids are off limits and baby mamas and shit like that and that's not the case for a lot of people you know look how they attack blue ivy when we saw 
um, been seeing her growing up and, you know, talking about other people's kids and stuff like that. And you have other celebrities. Drake is not the only celebrity that don't show his child or, you know, talk about the children publicly. You have Kerry Washington. We don't know. Kerry Washington had at least two kids on us during scandal and we ain't seen them kids yet. Look how long it took for baby Sienna to um pop up. Okay. Um we barely seen the twins from Beyonce. If it wasn't for on the run too, we would never seen nothing from them probably because look at what the fuck y'all did to Blue. But you know, I do feel like a celebrity has a right to anybody has a right to, you know, if they want to put it out there that they got a child, they got it they can do that. As long as they're taking care of him and all that stuff. And I guess I'm just going to assume that he's taking care of his baby and doing what he got to do. But on the overall, overall, Scorpion is a good CD. I like it. It's giving me back the Drake that I like because I could not. The last two albums, they was cute, but it wasn't nothing that I would go back to and just be like, yeah, this my shit, this my shit. This album, I've been playing on repeat. Okay, I didn't. Put it in my little playlist, got it on shuffle and stuff, and um, you know, loving everything that's coming up except for one song. I can't stand that birthday song. You wanna know why I can't stand that um ratchet happy birthday? I cannot stand it because of that one part every time that comes up when he be like, no, stop it, it don't go. Who told him to put that shit on there? I just really wasn't here for it. But other than that, I like the album, and this is not even coming from a Drake stand. This is not, you know, am I a fan fan? I can say I'm a, I'm a fan, but I ain't no hardcore fan like that. Like, I'm going to go crazy. I need to go see Drake in concert. Oh, my God, I got to take up for him all. No, no, it ain't nothing like that. I'm a fan of Abby Graham, okay? That's what I'm a friend of, fan of, the, the, the actor, you know what I'm saying? From Jimmy from Degrassi, you know what I'm saying? You know, but, um, yeah, this was a solid album. And just like we thought, that whole beef shit that was going on between him and Pusha T, I mean, did it really hurt him? No, because he's about to be number one on the fucking Billboard charts and stuff like that. Did he take an L in that? Yes. I can admit that shit. Pusha came in and pushed his buttons. He really did. But with some OT, you know what I'm saying? And it worked. Whatever he was aiming for, it kind of worked. Bitch, somebody needs to leak the fucking diss track, Okay. I remember, you know, I don't know if Kanye had tried to come for him, but it was 8 to 10 when it starts off and he was like, you talking about being rich, you just not getting rich again. And then saying that your, your nannies and your wifey and all these other people, they going to still be bumping my shit. I was like, all right. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Because y'all know Kanye had some financial troubles and shit like that. That was like an under under and you uh, a little jab, just a little slight jab. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, let that go. Um, but other than that, I like Scorpion too. Okay, so if I had to score Scorpion, I will give it. I give it a nine. I give it a nine. You know. Mainly because I couldn't stand that Ratchet song. That Ratchet birthday song just, ugh. Brrr. You know, for some people, they probably say that the, song, the album is boring, but I like it. I like it. You know, I don't like too much of the shit that be coming out today, especially when it comes to the hip-hop or whatever, but it's this is this is my speed. This is my speed. I'm, I'm really cool with it. Um, Moving on from that, speaking of Kanye, let's go to Tiana Taylor and Good Music. Tiana Taylor and good music. Good music then fucked her over yet again, okay? And um, I feel really, really bad for her. I feel bad for Tiana Taylor because of the simple fact that she is a talent, okay? And right when people are starting to notice how much of a talent she really is, and people, uh, and believe it or not, there were people who were hyped about her album and was waiting for her album to come out because they loved that Seven album, which I was one of those people, you know, and we thought that the album was going to be so bomb, and it really wasn't. And I was being nice in that review when I did. You know, I said it was cute enough. It was cute enough. It wasn't great. It was okay. You know, I still listen to it, um, and it's good enough for me to listen to most of the times, but I still don't love it. 
And just like I thought, and just like I said, it felt like something was missing and kind of found out the album wasn't complete. You know, they fucked her over and put out an incomplete album. You did this rollout for Nas. You did this rollout for Pusha T, for um, Kanye West. And none of their albums or no one else is complaining about how the albums don't feel full or we're going to bring out a re-release because it's not the way that we thought it was going to be and all this stuff for nothing. But when it comes to Tiana Taylor, all of a sudden, the album's not complete. We got to do a re-release. It's going to come out in the next week. Um, You know, then we get an update basically saying that the we ain't finna get no um keeping the same energy official re-release. And I was just like, that's fucked up. And at this point in time, do anybody even care anymore? Drake then came out and just demolished the charts. Do we even care for the re-release at this point? And to be quite honest, at this point, because Drake then came out and other people that the big, big names are coming out this summer, okay? You had Jay-Z and Beyonce come out out of fucking nowhere, which we kind of knew was going to happen because of the tour. Then you had Drake. You're going to have Nicki, you know, and... um. Maybe some other big pop artist that's probably going to come out too. Ariana Grande about to come out, I think. You know, don't nobody care. It's like Tiana Taylor album finna get lost in the motherfucking sauce and that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Her shit should have came out in the spring to be quite honest. You know, who was coming out in the spring? Barely nobody. You know, and then, like I said, if you're going to put out something, I would rather you take your time and push that bitch back as many times as you need to, to make sure it's all completed, okay, to make sure the clearance are, uh, clearance of the samples are done, and if you can't do that, you can go back in the booth and rework the song and make it a full, complete song or whatever, the fans will understand, you know what I'm saying, it'll just make the anticipation for it a little bit more, and therefore, you think that people will try to go out there and be like, so thankful when it comes out. So, and not having this mixed reaction to it because it's not completed. And I just feel like Tiana needs to get off of good music at this point. Find another label that's going to, if you want to find another label, a major label, find another label that's going to actually treat your ass right and treat you like you deserve to be on the same level as certain artists and have that same type of hype like i don't know it, it's it's just it's embarrassing okay but y'all tell me how y'all felt about all of that and i will see you guys later peace